Hey, once again, I'm at the store, and I wanted to do a story on this. I saw it a while back. Death Wish Coffee. And notice one of our favorite symbols that we all know about, the skull and bones. Death Wish Coffee. Well, I think I want to start back at the turn of the century was Sigmund Freud. And Sigmund Freud was kind of one of the first individuals to try to talk about the subconscious and what goes on inside of people deep, deep down under where maybe they're not even aware of. And he actually identified what he thought were two drives within people. One was a life drive, or eros, love, and he also identified a death drive, or thanatos. And in the Greek language, thanatos um, is the word that is translated as death in the Bible and other places, thanatos. So there's two drives in, in people, according to Freud, a life drive and a death drive. Now, at some point in time, advertisers decided to try to tap into this whole idea of a death drive. And it seems so contrary to old-fashioned thinking to want to try to sell a product uh, based on death, and especially to have skull and bones. Well, right now, all the uh, satanic symbols are running wild, and skulls are everywhere, so why not on your coffee? Why not have some death wish coffee? Who knows, if you drink a cup, maybe in an hour or two, you'll perish. Who knows? But what I found interesting was that now it's out in the open. Using death and death symbols to actually try to entice people to use the product. And a while back, I would say a few years ago, um, I discovered on YouTube someone who, who had a manual that was used by advertising companies and it wasn't supposed to leak out so that the public wouldn't know anything about it. But basically in the manual it said, yeah, there's a death drive and you can, you can capture people and capture them and get them to use your product by using the death drive. And almost like daring somebody, I dare you to drink a cup of this coffee. And you drink a cup and you survive, and you go, oh, I survived the death drive. Now, I've also seen it with alcohol as well. They use the death wish uh, in selling alcohol and many other products. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that, that there is a death wish in people sometimes. And it seems to me with the current made-up crisis, uh, with the uh, current phony virus that it's trying to tap into this death wish and people who are extremely healthy will now start to look sick because they're in confinement and and there's so much talk about getting sick and a virus and everything so it's almost like they'll be overcome by this force now in the spiritual realm there there is actually a spirit of death and um, in the book of Revelation, there's a rider on the horse, and the name of the rider is Death. So it's part of the demonic realm to try to get people to wish themselves to be dead. Now that's demonic, and you need to rebuke it, and you need to, to submit yourself to Christ, because Christ is our life in us, and the Holy Spirit gives us life. He's the spirit of life. So the spirit of life is fighting the spirit of death. And right now I think that a big cloud of death has hovered over us 
at least an imaginary uh, concept of death, uh, reporting all these uh, deaths, so to speak, everywhere um, that really are not happening, but the hospitals are armed now, so you can't get in and see. There's no death in there. And as Dave J would say, it is a false witness to death. But there's something weird about it in that it, it does appeal to people. They like to talk about things like this. They like to focus on the skull and bones. Now you have to fight it off with the mind of Christ and the spirit of life, the Holy Spirit, because the cloud is getting stronger and stronger. So my suggestion, do not buy this coffee, all right? <laughs> Don't buy any death wish coffee. It's bad enough they're trying to get you to die right now on the basis of a phony virus. But, but try not to uh, drink any death wish coffee. Thank you for watching this video, and I appreciate your support. End of video.